Today's project, we're putting on Extreme Max trailer guide posts. These are the biggest ones I could find. They are 65 inches long. And the difference between these and a lot of the other brands is the metal goes all the way up, almost all the way up the tube. So I think the, the metal will go up to 60 inches and the tubes are 65. And the other ones I've seen only go 20 inches. Um, the thing about these I didn't love is they were zinc plated, so I painted them with some Eastwood rust encapsulator. I already had some of this. So I gave them a coat. Maybe they'll last a little longer in the salt. But uh, otherwise, it seems like pretty durable. These are really stiff. So let's install them. Okay, so before you start, make sure your boat is centered on the trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out from this bunk. I'm looking at 10 and a half from my angle. Let's see the other one. So right now I'm looking at 10. So each side consists of three pieces, or the bracket consists of three pieces. There's the, the top part, there's this lower, this upper plate and a lower plate. And then obviously the post slides in there. And the square tube is better than the round tubes because if you're, some of the round tubes, the older ones, when your boat hits it like this, it'll obviously just turn, just pivot down here and your whole arm will get jacked up. where you may have to cut your post here like I did because depending on where it hits on your boat you're gonna have to slide it closer further away so this one's already been cut before we tighten it down let's try one of these tubes here let's see how it looks I wish they gave us galvanized bolts. Didn't expect stainless, but galvanized was nice. You see, my torque on this moves the whole trailer. So I'm pretty happy with it. I know these will rust, but. If I had painted them, it would just chip right off. Eventually, I'll have to replace them with galvanized. And just, it's gonna end up looking like that eventually. Yay. And so, I was thinking about putting the bolt through these, but you actually don't want to, because when the boat hits it, you want these to spin, instead of scratching up your boat, so. Pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Let's take a look. Nope. No more fixing the boat. We're done. See, so, yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. The boat is fixed. Nice. <laughs> no, no. Do you love the boat? Yeah. Say, I love the boat. I love the boat. Are you giving the boat a hug? <laughs> Are you giving the boat a kiss? <laughs> 